VS Code Hint, Tip, and Trick of the Week. Yep, so the VS Code Hint, Tip, and Trick of the Week. Week, anyway. Uh, it's Mark Dowlin. <laughs> you guys invited me on the podcast. That's what you have to put up with. Um, so it's called Markdown Lint. So in a way, Markdown is the new HTML. Um, however, it can be kind of cumbersome to deal with when your Markdown misses an asterisk or an octothorpe, which is really a pound sign, or a space somewhere. Uh, Markdown Lint deals with formatting all the inconsistencies that come with writing Markdown. Also, I should learn correct Markdown by alerting you if something is wrong. So it's just a really nice linting tool for learning Markdown. Um, VS Code, obviously, I'm going to paste the link in there. I invite you to check that out. I know that's something that's very handy because I feel like I'm, I'm using Markdown, but I'm definitely not a pro at it. I feel like I always mess something up. So that is a nice plugin to check out. Great. I have a very interesting question now. Does the Adobe Docs talk about that hash sign as an octothorpe i i'm just so curious now oh i don't I've, know i've I'll never be... i've never even looked nope i'm right there now text that is surrounded also... by number signs so there we go somebody somebody contact adobe put in the bug say this should be octothorpes of course yeah, I, wouldn't, I'll be up. I wouldn't have recognized what an octothorpe is <laughs> To be fair, I didn't know either, but a friend of mine at Bartram, who's presented at Into the Box in the past and Confusion Developer, he introduced that word to me, and I immediately had to look it up because then he was right. It's they're octothorps. So if you can tell older Confusion code when you, when you see pound signs everywhere, we call it superfluous octothorps. That's how you know you're dealing with old Confusion code. <laughs> uh, I think this is one of those cases where you can be semantic or you can have friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> <Why not> both? <laughs> my my i'm derailing this for a second but my favorite semantic thing that everybody will just roll your eyes about is um when somebody says that's my forte um that's actually not the pronunciation it's fort because it means the strong part of a sword um but really? if you correct people on that they will just roll their eyes at you and walk away so I just now give them a sly look to my wife, and she rolls her eyes at me instead of everybody. So, <laughs> I had no idea that's the. Uh... Are you sure about that? It's not French, Forte. I I will I will find the video and I'm gonna put it in the show notes for anybody who cares. <laughs> it's on Facebook doesn't mean it's true, Eric. I know. <laughs> That was our VS Code Hint, Tip, and Trick of the Week, brought to you by Modernizer Die Podcast, CFML News Edition, proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on cfmlnews.modernizerdie.io or on the Order Solutions YouTube channel.